and gentlemen, Michonne just asked me to pretend like I'm not cold, but I'm not gonna lie, it's 45 degrees. <laughs> We're in the shade and it's super windy. So let's move this party inside where I could tell you more about our newest listing that just actually just got finished. And the reason why there's a rush is you will see that this property is still not fully clean. There might, there might be some on the floor uh, from construction that's gonna get cleaned up. But the reason why we wanted to do it right now is because Parade of Homes is happening literally next week and this listing will not last very long. It is so much better indoors. Yeah, like Nick said, this home's gonna have its final clean in two days. So when you walk in the front door, you've got this room off to the right, can be used as a bedroom or an office. You've got these huge, why did I forget what they're called? French doors, those things are called French doors. But it's a big, it's a nice big opening. Got a nice walk-in closet right here, really good size. And we've got a couple of windows that face to the front. But let's let's start from the very beginning, actually. Let's take a look at this front door, this entryway. So we've got this modern front door. It's got some frosted glass. You do, you do have clear glass that you could either put a little slide of blinds. That way, if you do want to see who's out there, you can take a peek. And I love the fact that it's frosted because Sometimes just having there's this modern trend with clear doors, it just it just makes it so that somebody could see right inside your house. I don't know what's up with this trend. What do you guys think? Yeah, we currently have clear glass on our front door, which I don't love, and we need a tint ASAP because sometimes you're not ready to answer the door, and so yeah, we need frosted. frosted which glass. is like unless you're invited. Exactly. So here we have the front living area with a nice electric fireplace entertainment massive area you've got three huge windows that open up to the backyard and then it just keeps going into this massive kitchen lots of natural light um, as you can see this center island is huge and you've got storage cabinets in the front which is amazing and you've got a single deep sink. Which is super nice. I don't yeah. know who invented split sinks. And then we have a gas range right here. Oven, all stainless steel, general electric appliances. Can you show us the width? Can we take a moment to appreciate the width of this center island? Like. I know sometimes it's hard to tell in a video how truly massive it is, but... Is that, is that true? So I'm 5'5", five five. do they, is your width of your arms, is that how tall you are? Is that? Uh, that's probably pretty close. No, I've heard somebody say like, if you, however tall you are, if you hold your arms out, that's your height. So if that's true, I could barely touch. So it's like, it's probably at least five feet. It's at least five and a half feet. We could yeah. get the exact measurements, but uh, that's the universal units of measure, is in yeah. body parts. Yeah. It's great. So we've got our pantry right here. Good size pantry. Fits me, fits all your groceries. And we've got this beautiful marble backsplash. I love it. A lot of detail in this home. Okay, let's go check out where you're gonna be accessing the home the most through the garage. Let's take a moment to talk about this mudroom. Yes. Look at all these built-ins. I would hang a couple hooks right here. You've got some built-ins right here. Nice place to take put your shoes. And then the laundry room is and this right is there. Some naughty Oliver cabinet, which is beautiful. Laundry room right here with some ca um, cabinets above. You've got some uppers, and for your uh, hookups, it could be either electric or gas for the dryer. Okay, let's go check out the garage. This property does have a three-car garage, and it is quite spacious. Pretty good. It size. still does need a final clean, but it is a very large three-car garage. Yeah, and it's 
It's a little extra deep over here, which is nice. One of my favorite features about this master bedroom, you've got access to the backyard and this massive window right here. Which has a pretty private view of the backyard because you're kind of up against the mountainside mm -hmm. and there's nothing for quite some time behind this home. Yep. And this room is huge. So. You could definitely comfortably fit a king size bed. Have a nightstand on each side. <laughs> Perfect. So we'll check out the bathroom. I love the tile that they did in here. And the naughty elder cabinets are my favorite. Look at these mirrors. I haven't ever seen this design yet. Oh yeah, with the beveled edges at the top. And then what do you have there? You have a walk-in shower. And a jetted tub. Walk-in shower. We have another. There's a lot of cloth. Let's it's go a lot over of extra all storage. Yeah. There's a lot of extra storage in this house, which is super nice. And then here is, and check out this. And the owner's suite closet is nice and spacious. Yeah. We've got more shelving here, here, hanging racks everywhere. Really good size. Yeah, let's pay attention to how many closets there are. Let's count them on the way to the guest bedrooms. Yeah. So we have that closet. That so, so far closet. you guys have seen the office, the owner's suite. So there's another closet in another the closet in the laundry, laundry room. room. And there's one when you walk in, bring in your coats, cleaning supplies. And then of course, I mean, one in the bedroom. We've got the pantry. Okay, and then we've got one right here in this hallway. It is so nice to have a great utility closet, just like right there. Yeah. yeah that's a linen closet, but you could put some brooms in it. That's you could put cleaning supplies. One of the biggest complaints is anytime, like, is just not enough storage. I mean, you've got your garage and you've only got so much room. A lot of the time, all that space is claimed. I'm not allowed to put anything in the garage, so I wish I had more storage space. <laughs> yeah, no, don't do that. Okay, and then we've got a shower tub combo in here with the privacy frosted glass. Another really cool mirror. This one is oval. Yeah. Okay, and then we will check out our final bedroom. And this bedroom faces the front of the property. And another closet, of course. Really good size. So one awesome thing about this house is probably the location. You're about a 30 minute scenic drive from Zion National Park. You're about 10 minutes to Sand Hollow State Park and the Lynx Golf Course at Sand Hollow. We're about five minutes from Copper Rock Golf Course and there's just you can hop and the seat. desert, the yeah. desert, if you're into any sort of off-road sports, you can literally go out by San Halo and there's just miles and miles of desert. So if you're into side by siding, dirt biking, mountain, mountain biking, biking, hiking, all that stuff, endless, endless entertainment. Folks, as always, there's a link below in the description below this video that will take you to a full property website. If you would like to get a personal tour of this home or any other home in Southern Utah, please reach out to us. Our contact information is in the description below.